Ithaca High School, and welcome to Lake Street News, your premier high school news network. I'm Mira. As you might have noticed, a few things have changed for this episode. Number one, we only have one news anchor. There's a lot of other jobs to do right now. Number two, our teleprompter has tragically passed away. So for now, we'll be reading off of a script. <laughs> and number three, there was only two things. Our top story tonight, the city of Ithaca has accidentally gone into credit card debt. What? The majority of the common council members learned of the city's withdrawn credit ratings only through an Ithaca Voice article around a week or two ago. Council member Pierre St. Perez said in a statement that, quote, I look forward to the common council's late paperwork being filled and have a full confidence staff are working hard on it as we speak. Hopefully, this will be behind us soon, unquote. A 26-year-old man from the town of Van Etten was arrested after running his car onto the hood of a Tompkins County Sheriff's Office vehicle. Ithaca police responded to a trespassing report last Thursday. Once at the reported spot, police noticed a Ford 150 with the engine running in the parking lot. A deputy positioned their vehicle behind the truck, after which the Ford then accelerated it in reverse and slammed into the police car. Edwards was charged with criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, and trespassing and could face additional charges pending discussions with the district attorney, Van Houten. An apartment on Lake Street caught on fire a little over two weeks ago. A victim of the fire in the apartment was taken to the hospital by an ambulance, but their condition has not been announced yet. The cause of the fire has also not been announced. We tried to interview the dang fire to find out, but it was too heated of a discussion to show on School Network. <sighs> We have made a severe and continuous lapse in our judgment, and we don't expect to be forgiven. In Lake Street News News, our very own April Fool's episode was re recently blocked on school Wi-Fi. Principal Trumbull declined to comment, but we suspect it may have had to do with declaring war on admin and saying Miss Hardesty was a cyborg. Our words were raw and unfiltered. None of us knew how to act or how to feel. Uh, there were a lot of things we should have done differently, but we didn't, and for that, from the bottom of their hearts, we're sorry. We'd like to apologize to the internet. We also apologize to anyone who's seen the video. And we also apologize to the school and the school admin. We've made a huge mistake and we promise to be better. Thank you. Anyways, thanks for watching Lake Street News and have an insatiably splendid week. I'm not, re I'm not doing that because what does that even mean? You use your own microphone.